Good day everyone. My name is Olajide Oluwa Damola. Today's class will be taking data processing. Data processing. Collection of data, preparation of data, information, inputting of data, processing the data, output of the data, then how we store the data. What is data processing? Data processing refers to the transformation of raw data into meaningful output. Data are being transformed into meaningful output called informations. E.g. our newspapers, our textbooks, our novels, they are informations. They are, they are, they are, they are meaningful output. These, those things, those words, those content that they are used in making those Textbook, those novels, those newspapers, they are what they are called raw data. They are gathered together. They, they are collected, they are prepared, then they are given as input, then they are being processed, then we get the outputs, then later we do what? We store them for what? For future purposes. Now, now what are the things that we can use for processing data? Data can be done manually using a pen and paper or mechanically using a typewriter and it can be done electronically using a computer system. We have stages of data processing. The first stage is the input stage. The raw data after the collection needs to be fed into the circle for processing. This is considered the first step and called the input. So, the raw data after the collection, after preparing them, they need to be fed for processing. This is considered the first step and called the input. Like I, like, like I said earlier, you collect them, you prepare them, then they need to be what? They need to be fed in the cycle for processing now number two we have the processing once the input is provided the raw data is processed by a suitable or selected processing method this is most important step this is the most important step as it provides the process data in the form of output which will be used further so what we are saying here now is that the data that you are inputting whether you are using your keyboard, your mouse, your pen, anything you might be using, it is going to be processed. While you are using it, it's going into the machine in which you are using, in which your input device is connected to, then it will be processed there. So now, we go on to the next stage, which is the output, output stage. The output stage, this is the outcome and the raw data provided in the first stage is now processed. And the data is useful and provides information and no longer called data. Now, after your data is being processed, what we call it now is meaningful information, meaningful data. It is called information. It is not just any information, but it is a meaningful one. Your newspaper is meaningful and that is why you read it. Your textbooks are meaningful and that is why you read it. Your novels are meaningful, that is why you read it. So this is the outcome. The output is the outcome and the, of raw data provided in the first stage. It is processed in the processing stage and now it gives us useful and um, the data is useful and um, provides information and no they are no longer called data they are now called what information so by the right corner of the screen here you see a small diagram there where you have in the box data in the middle we have data we have processing data we have information then below we have storage you see between data and processing data we have input so the data first then before you get to the present you have to impute it then it to be processed then while it is processed you go out you can get the output then the storage part you can see that the arrow is going to the storage and it's also going back to the present data. that means when your data is being processed you can store it so when it's stored for future purposes, you can also come and get it back from the storage again to process it. That means to reprocess it. Like you are recycling, you are re, you, you, you are editing. So the processing data, you can get it back from the storage. After storing that, you can do what? You can now output it again.
Examples of an impulse device and a process data. Impulse device. Let me take an example like keyboard. Look at the keyboard. The keyboard is using to input anything like letters and numeric values. You use the keyboard to input numeric values and alpha numeric values. So see, if you look at it, you have your you have your numbers, you have your letters, you have your to your minus, your plus, all sort of signs on it. So you can use them as your input device. As well, we have other input device as mouse, joystick, Clyde pen, and also. But this is a very good example of an input device. Now we have example of a process that our textbook like i mentioned earlier your textbook is your um your newspaper there are examples of a what a process data class so i believe you understand how data is being processed how data is being processed right from the input stage after you may have prepared and after you may have collected and prepared them then when you input them then you process them then what you give out the output Giving, an, giving us a meaningful information. Now, the assessment that we are going to be taking it home as an assignment, we are going to assess ourselves so that we can know if you have understand whatever you have been taught. So, you process a data using an electronic device, and that is a computer. Or if you don't have a computer system, you might have a laptop, you can use that. If you don't have a laptop, if you believe you can process your data with your mobile phone which is a smartphone not just a mobile phone a smart mobile phone so you can use that not less than three pages and not more than five pages paper size a4 see you next class thank you